Boxing fans, welcome to another edition of the 8 Count Boxing Hour. Dancy Snedos here bringing you the boxing action, not of the Duke City this time, but actually we're in Las Vegas, New Mexico, Robertson High School. Tonight, the uh, United States Boxing Association featherweight champion, David Santos, Diamond David Santos out of St. Petersburg, Florida, brings in a record of 29-1 and one with 19 KOs. This is a non-title bout, 10-rounder, we're scheduled for 10 rounds. Uh, he'll be taking on Enrique Kiki Valenzuela from Los Angeles, California. Uh, Valenzuela with a record of 16-9, and nine, 13 wins by knockout, very durable, uh, maybe an edge in hand speed for David Santos, but uh, we'll have to see that in just a little bit. But that's our main event tonight on the 8-Count Boxing Hour. If we have time, we'll bring you some more boxing action. But uh, stay tuned, because we're ready to rumble right here on the 8-Count Boxing Hour. Okay, boxing fans, entering the ring now is Enrique Kiki Valenzuela coming into this bout with a record of 16 and 9, 13 KOs. You're watching the 8 Count Boxing Hour here on Community Cable Channel 27, only in Albuquerque. And we're awaiting the ar arrival of the USBA featherweight champion Diamond David Santos out of St. Petersburg, Florida. Santos with a record of 29 and 1, 19 wins by knockout. He's ranked number 8 by the WBC. He's looking for a shot at Prince Nassim Hamed or Wilfredo Vasquez, he'll take either one. But right now he's got to worry about Enrique Kiki Valenzuela. And we're just about ready to get underway with this bout. Diamond David Santos, he's a flashy fighter, uh, a good boxer puncher. He has a little bit of power, a real nice boxing style. And now coming into the, down to the ring, we have uh, St. Petersburg, Florida's own Diamond David Santos. The United States belt being held up high by heavyweight Andrew Staley, who won tonight on the undercard. And uh, David Santos coming in with his flashy trunks. The USBA title belt not on the line tonight, but they're bringing it in to show who is in town here. It is Diamond David Santos out of St. Pete, Florida. Let's go up to ring announcer Mike Adams now and get the call. Your next bout of the evening will be the main event of 10 rounds. Your judges are ringside are Mr. Martinez. Mr. Kent and Mr. Ash and your referee in charge, Mr. Al Martinez. Introducing first out of the blue corner, he's wearing the all black trunks. He weighed in at 127 and a quarter pounds. He's from the City of Angels, Los Angeles, California. He has a professional record of 16 wins, nine losses, with 13 knockouts, Enrique and Kiki Valenzuela. <laughs> Introducing out of the red corner, we're in the red, white, and blue trucks. He weighed in at 125 and a quarter pounds. He hails from St. Petersburg. He has a professional record of 29 wins, one loss with 19 knockouts. The USBA featherweight champion, the IBA America's champion, Diamond David So Mike Adams with the big introduction for USBA featherweight champion Diamond David Santos wearing the stars and bars glittering trunks. His opponent Kiki Valenzuela in the black trunks. Morales written across the front waistband and we're just about ready to get underway now. Referee Al Martinez is going to get this one underway. This is scheduled for 10 rounds, a non-title bout. You're watching professional boxing here on the 8 Count Boxing Hour coming to you from Robertson High School in Las Vegas, New Mexico. Dan Cisneros at ringside. This bout is underway now. Diamond David Santos in the stars and bars. Santos, a good boxer. He has good skills, a little bit of pop in his, in his punches. Kiki Valenzuela, we haven't seen much of him. Last time out for David Santos, a big win against Max Gomez. He stepped up in class and he answered the test very well. That fight taking place at the Lujan building in Albuquerque, New Mexico. That fight also was televised on Fox Rocky Mountain. A battle of jabs right now. Diamond David Santos with the fast yeah. hands. There's Kiki Valenzuela with a wild left hook missing. He tries to stick the jab in there, David Santos. 
Now in control of the center thing, good body shot by Santos, left hand to the body. Santos should have the edge in hand speed and foot movement in this bout. Definitely a, a very quick fighter, a sharp fighter. When he's, real, he's on, he's really something to watch. Again, last time out, a big decision victory over Max Gomez out of Denver. Way too far out. Kiki Valenzuela now trying to answer. Oh, there's a nice combination to the head. Speed kills, and David Santos knows that. David Santos would like to, like to open him up with that jab, come in with the right hand. Both men conventional right-handers. The jab's got to work, baby. Again, Santos trying to move in behind the jab. Kiki Morales standing up very square. Square right to David Santos. Santos should be able to connect with that jab once he gets it going here. We're just underway round one. Well, we're midway through round one. Dancy Snittles at ringside. You're watching the eight count boxing hour here on Community Cable Channel 27. Get your chin. Nice and smooth, baby. All right. Get the jab. The only fight we've seen of uh, Valenzuela uh, at the forum in Los Angeles. He was uh, involved in a real war. He got uh, caught with a shot, closed his eye, and the fight was stopped on the closure. He seemed very strong in that bout. And right now, David Santos in control of this bout here in the first round. There's a good right hand. Valenzuela stepped right into it. Santos caught him with the right hand. And there's Valenzuela now. Goes on the attack to the body now. Santos being cautious here in the first round. Again, a battle of jabs here. Oh, there's a, there's a good connection right there. For Santos is going to have to watch it for the counterpunching here. Valenzuela looks like the counterpunching fighter tonight. And that ends round one. So a good feeling out round here, round one for David Santos, the United States uh, featherweight champion. And we look into the corner now of Diamond David Santos. A lot at stake for Santos every time out. He's waiting on that world title shot. And he continues to stay busy, uh, fighting a lot out of Albuquerque here. He's being promoted by uh, Albuquerque promoter Lenny Fresquez. Not an overwhelming round, but I give us the edge on that first round to uh, David Santos. Now we look into the corner of uh, Kiki Valenzuela. Kiki out of Los Angeles, California, with a record of 16 and 9, 13 wins by KO. And you can see that he has the, the uh, a little bit slower handed, less foot movement, but the counter punching style for Kiki Valenzuela out of Los Angeles. Round two underway now. Professional boxing coming to you from Robertson High School in Las Vegas, New Mexico. Dan Cisneros at ringside, and you are watching the eight count boxing hour. United States. Featherweight champion David Santos in action. And now you see Kiki Valenzuela on the attack with two lefts to the body. Valenzuela reputed to be very strong. And so far he looks it. He looks like a good, strong, durable fighter. This will not be a pushover for David Santos. He's going to have to work tonight. Needs to keep his hands busy and outscore his opponent. Use that speed. Again, the body attack by Valenzuela now. Santos laying back, and, and Kiki Valenzuela going to the body here. Santos not answering back as uh, Valenzuela steps in, attacks the body. Diamond David Santos in the red, white, and blue. Kiki Valenzuela in the all-black trunks. Again, now Valenzuela trying to work the jab, trying to out-jab the, the very crafty David Santos. You can see that Valenzuela likes to go to the body here. Could pay dividends if it gets into the late rounds. Good right hand now by Santos. A good crowd here at Robertson High School in Las Vegas, New Mexico. They've, they've just seen a great undercard uh, local professional Frankie Archuleta with a first round knockout. And now Kiki Valenzuela getting aggressive here. Again, he comes in with 
that uppercut was blocked, but he follows it with a right hand now. Santos being a little passive in this round, not, not busy. Valenzuela moving his hands. So far, the aggression uh, going in the, in the way of Kiki Valenzuela out of Los Angeles, California. Again, the two mixing it up now. Valenzuela willing to mix it, throws the right hand in there. Again, he comes in with a left hand lead. Kiki Valenzuela getting busy here. Valenzuela with a left to the body, follows it with a right hand. Santos stepping back now. David Santos not answering back much here in the second round. Oh, there. Now Santos answers with a right hand to the, to the head of his opponent. Oh, and Santos with a, comes up short with that left hand. Valenzuela continuing to work on that body. And Valenzuela now with a good combination. Didn't land solid, but he is a, being aggressive. I put him together. That's when he goes in the shell. Oh, and a shot right there puts Valenzuela down right at the bell. That was before the bell. David Santos with a nice shot there. <laughs> and Kiki Valenzuela takes a shot and goes down right at the end of that round. He was doing real good up to that point. But uh, David Santos connects and puts his man down. So a knockdown for David Santos in the second round. And that kind of evens things out there. Uh, I, I had that round going for Kiki Valenzuela, but right at the end, uh, David Santos pulls it out with a big shot. Kind of came out of nowhere, surprised Valenzuela, who was doing good up to that point. Professional boxing coming to you from Las Vegas, New Mexico, here on the Eight Count Boxing Hour. Thanks for joining us, everyone. Uh, it's a pleasure to bring you boxing action, uh, usually from Albuquerque, but tonight we venture out to Las Vegas, New Mexico. Uh, a pretty good crowd here in Las Vegas, New Mexico, and uh, they're really enjoying their boxing here. So David Santos, like I said, well, he has a little bit of pop, 19 knockouts, and he, he shows you a little bit of that pop right there. The very durable Kiki Valenzuela, but he was kind of surprised. Uh, referee Al Martinez brings the two to center ring. We're underway now with round three here. Non-title action, United States Boxing Association champion David Santos in action. You got him figured now, man. Valenzuela now not as aggressive as he was in that second round. I don't know if he cleared his head yet from that knockdown. Now Valenzuela again, though, going to that body. He's staying with that game plan. He's stuck with it. And now again, Valenzuela going to the body, bangs to the body, and keeps it up. Finished it with a left hand to the, to the body there to the side of David Santos. And now Santos trying to work the jab, but there's a jab connecting right there. Good stiff jab by David Santos. He's got to tune it up now and start to find the target. Again, Santos staying busy. Oh, a body shot. That was not a knockdown. That'll be ruled a slip by referee Al Martinez. So Santos trying to get out of the way of that body shot and he stumbles, falls back. That is not a knockdown. The style of Valenzuela reminiscent of Max Gomez, who uh, Santos faced in his last fight. That was a 12-rounder for the IBA uh, uh, America's title. Santos trying to figure out this opponent, Kiki Valenzuela. <laughs> Valenzuela continues to stay busy going to the body, and, and it's doing good. It's doing good for him. Oh, and there's a left hand by Santos now, right on the chin. Santos now trying to figure this man out. Again, you see Santos with the jab. Valenzuela answers back with a jab now. Coming up short, though. There's a right hand, and that shook him up. Valenzuela wobbles now. David Santos might have him a little, a little hurt here. He definitely shook him. A right hand from Santos. And now Valenzuela lands a left hook to the head. And the two tie up, and we got some good action going here in this third round. Santos definitely shaking up Valenzuela there, and Valenzuela very gamely answering back. Rolling 
Very square style by Kiki Valenzuela. Nothing flashy here, but uh, definitely a dangerous opponent. Good body work on the part of Valenzuela. There it is again, the right hand of the body. Santo slips out now and gets back to the center of the ring. And Santos, oh, he would just like to drop that right hand in there. You can, you can just see what he's thinking. The end of the third round here on the eight count boxing hour. David Santos had Valenzuela shook there, but could not put him down. And we look into the corner now of USBA champion David Santos. Good third round there after, after a little bit of a shaky second round, although he did come up with a knockdown at the end of the second round. Now we look into the corner of Kiki Valenzuela. And uh, Valenzuela bringing some fight to this uh, ring tonight. Looks like a, a pretty decent opponent. He's going to the body. He's staying busy. He's counter punching. Uh, got up from the knockdown. He looks like a strong opponent tonight for David Santos. So we head into round four now here on the eight count boxing hour. Scheduled for 10, these are featherweights. The bell for round four. Diamond David Santos in the American flag glittering trunks. Very flashy David Santos. Red and white tassels on those blue shoes. The all-American boy here taking on uh, Kiki Valenzuela in the black trunks. Morales written across the front waistband. Santos now working behind the jab comes in with the right hand comes back with the left of the body Valenzuela is dangerous Santos has to be careful with his dangerous opponent Kiki Valenzuela nine knockouts in his 16 victories or 13 knockouts, excuse me. 13 knockouts for Valenzuela out of 16 victories. So a good knockout percentage. He's definitely a dangerous opponent for David Santos. Santos with 19 knockouts out of 29 victories. Okay, and, a ref and the referee gives a warning for uh, pulling the head down. We're in round four here. Professional boxing coming to you from Las Vegas, New Mexico. Robertson High School is the site. Oh, oh, a nice shot now. The jab, he follows it with the right hand, David Santos. That was sharp. Santos may be warming up here. And you see David Santos now moving around the ring, using his feet. Kind of the, the formula that Johnny Tapia used to defeat Danny Romero in the big showdown of Albuquerque, New Mexico. Santos tries to get to a uh, left hand into the body, but he ca catches all arms there. Kiki Valenzuela, a good veteran fighter. There's an uppercut by David Santos. Nice work by David Santos. He needs to follow it, be a little busier. Now Kiki Valenzuela on the attack. And Santos answers back as he slips off the ropes. Gets back out to the center of the ring now. Wide open when he's hooking, David. Again, David Santos working behind the jab. He can control this fight with that jab if he'll just keep it pumping. He tries to step in with a feint. There's a left hand from Santos now. Valenzuela moves around to the outside of the ring. David Santos, a flashy boxer, good hand speed, good foot movement. There's a, a little bit of a right hand gets in there, but just grazing to the head of Kiki Valenzuela. Valenzuela now staying back to the ropes on the outside of the ring. There's a, the left hand miss, but the right connected there by Santos. Santos now staying busy, throwing in combinations now, not pot shotting, and that ends round four. So another good round for David Santos as he stays busy and takes the round, in our opinion. And right now, unofficially here on the eight-count boxing hour, we have it 40 for Santos and 37 for uh, his opponent, Kiki Valenzuela. The second round was tough to score. Uh, 
Valenzuela was in control of that round, but the knockdown at the end <laughs> really evened things out, and that's tough uh, to see how. I'd like to know how the judges would score that round. That was a tough one. And right now we're looking in, we are looking into the corner of Diamond David Santos. Santos, the USBA and IBA America's champion. Kiki Valenzuela coming in from Los Angeles, California on short, short notice. This bout was actually uh, scheduled to be a USBA title defense for Santos against Johnny Walker. Walker pulls out, so Kiki Valenzuela gets the call on short notice, and David Santos was prepared to face Johnny Walker, so a change in styles for, for Santos and a short notice call for Kiki Valenzuela. He's brought a good fight here tonight. David Santos getting, uh, <laughs> getting, all, getting his money's worth in this bout. We're scheduled for 10. Round five underway now. Now Valenzuela tries to shoot the right hand of the body. Santos stepping out. David Santos now trying to get that jab pumping again. If he can get that jab working, he can follow it with some good stuff. But so far, Kiki Valenzuela a little bit awkward, a little bit tough, tough to figure. And uh, pretty aggressive. There's a good left hand now. The second shot as he, he, Santos doubles up with the left to the body, comes back with the left to the head. Dan Cisneros at ringside. You're watching the eight count boxing here on Boxing Hour here on Community Cable Channel 27. Thanks for joining us, everyone. You're hooked into a good one here. It's uh, some high quality boxing here. David Santos and uh, Kiki Valenzuela. Again, David Santos in the red, white, and blue trunks. Uh, Kiki Valenzuela in the black trunks, in case you've just joined us. This is a non-title bout, but you do have a USBA champion, David Santos, in action here. And now Valenzuela tries to come in and misses with the right hand. Oh, Santos now just touching the head of Valenzuela. He didn't put much behind it, but he definitely connected there. Scoring points now. David Santos piling up the points here in this round. And Valenzuela comes in now, left hand, but it was caught on the arms. There's a body shot now, and he misses with the left hook follow-up by David Santos. You may remember seeing David Santos uh, in his USBA title defense against uh, Shane Gannon. That fight also shown here on the eight count boxing hour. Uh, didn't take long for David in that one. A first round knockout over the uh, WBC Continental America's uh, champion, uh, Shane Gannon. That bout also taking place in Albuquerque. Valenzuela comes in, but a left hand hurts Valenzuela. David Santos counter punching. Watch out now, Valenzuela is dangerous as he backs into the ropes here. He steps back out, oh, and Santos just misses with a left hook. Santos looking for the finisher. There's a good body shot now by David Santos. Valenzuela now retreating. David Santos may have stung this man pretty badly. But look at Valenzuela, dangerous with the overhand right. Comes back to the body now. Santos now backing up, and he comes back with a body shot. David Santos now takes a deep breath as he steps out. That body shot still still hurting You got to give it to Kiki Valenzuela. He took it all, and he fires back. Oh, man, David Santos just, just held back on the right hand there. And that ends the fifth round, so we're halfway through this 10-round bout. Hi, everybody. I'm ring announcer Michael Buffer. Get ready to rumble with the eight-count boxing hour on Channel 27. Cameraman Ben Martinez following the action for you here on Channel 27. Santos has not been hurt in this bout, but Valenzuela has thrown some bombs. There's a quick jab by Santos right to the straight onto the face of Kiki Valenzuela. Valenzuela now trying to step in, misses with the left, follows it with the right hand to the body. Valenzuela, good body puncher. He, he follows up with that, those body shots. There you see the quick hands of David Santos. Kiki Valenzuela staying around the outside of the ring now. David Santos right in the middle of the ring. Come on, David. Skip in now. Move in. Again, not much action here. The fans getting restless. Sa Santos misses with the left hand of the body. Here comes Valenzuela leaping in with that left hook. Again, David Santos with the quick feet. 
trying to move his man into position now to do some damage to his opponent, Kiki Valenzuela. Again, looks like Santos setting up something, and there's the right hand, overhand right, right to the head of Valenzuela. You can see that Santos was thinking about it. Uh, maybe he should stay a little busier with that jab and work his way in, but he's trying to set up the one big shot here. More pressure, David, more pressure. Again, David Santos, who has his sights set on the featherweight champions of the world, Prince Nassim Hamed and Wilfredo Vasquez. Santos would love to get a shot at either one of those guys. There's a right hand. You got to go, baby. You got to let it David go. Santos now working with that left hand. They're telling me at ringside here that he may have damaged that, his right hand. We'll have to keep an eye on that right now. Oh, and there's a right hand by Santos. Well, he, if he hurt it, he's throwing it. He's at least showing it, and he has to show it if he has hurt that right hand. Now you see Santos, right hand to the body, comes back with the left to the head. Valenzuela now comes out on the attack. Valenzuela likes to leap in with that left hook. And look at Valenzuela go to work now. Kiki Valenzuela <coughs> opens up the attack. Oh, and he misses with a haymaker right hand. Santos now keeping the pressure on. Santos just keeping the pressure on here. Not a whole lot of scoring, but doing enough maybe to pull that round out. And that ends round six here on the eight count boxing hour. So uh, they're telling us in the corner here that David Santos, the USBA featherweight champion, may have injured that right hand. And uh, we're going to watch that close. Kiki Valenzuela's dangerous, and you need both hands to keep him away. Valenzuela working good to the body tonight. Uh, a rugged, rugged uh, fighter, Mexican fighter out of Los Angeles, California. He's definitely a warrior, and uh, he's bringing it to David Santos here. Again, David Santos just coming off of a, a really tough war against Max Gomez. Uh, Gomez gave him all he could handle, and here he is again in a toughie against Kiki Valenzuela, although uh, scoring-wise, I have uh, David Santos in control of this fight, but uh, definitely Kiki Valenzuela making him work for it, and he's dangerous throughout. Valenzuela going to that body, and uh, he might just try to open up and, and go for a knockout here in the later rounds. We move into round seven now here on the eight-count boxing hour. Scheduled for ten, these are featherweights. USBA champion David Santos in the uh, Stars and Bars trunks and his opponent, Enrique Kiki Valenzuela, out of Los Angeles, California, in the black trunks. Now you see David Santos working with that jab. Again, David Santos, a good, slick boxer. Uh, if he has to work with the jab, he can do it. And Kiki Valenzuela now looking for the counter punch. You can just see it in his eyes. There's Santos again, working with that jab now. And there you see Valenzuela go to the body. Boy, this man is really a good body puncher. <laughs> oh, Valenzuela with a little left right to the face of Santos. Neither man willing to just open up and commit to an all-out attack here. Both men uh, trying to be tactical here, trying to do some scoring. But uh, Valenzuela falling behind, at least on our unofficial scorecard here, and uh, he needs to open up just like that. Okay, okay, may, may have banged heads here. The two have banged heads, but uh, no sign of damage to either fighter so far. There's a left hand by Santos. And now Valenzuela leaps in with his own left. Kiki Valenzuela likes to leap in with that left hand, a little bit of that Joe Frazier leaping left hook. <laughs> there he is again. Santos kind of steps back and resets now. David Santos, not, not really busy enough here. He needs to keep that jab pumping and a little bit hesitant. A dangerous counter-punching Kiki Valenzuela keeping David Santos off balance as far as uh, keeping, the, keeping his hands busy. Santos moving forward. There we go. Good jab right hand now by David Santos. Uh, that's the way to score right there. There's the quick jab again from David Santos. Valenzuela tries to answer back, comes up short with a jab. 
the very flashy David Santos out of St. Petersburg, Florida. Record of 29 and 1, 19 KOs. He's in a battle here in Las Vegas, New Mexico. Good right hand, a solid shot connects now by David Santos. But boy, Valenzuela has a chin of stone. He's been eating the shots of David Santos. He's been down, he's been wobbled, but he's still here. Again, David Santos working with the jab, comes back with a left to the body now. Low blow call, Al Martinez steps in and warns David Santos. Come on, baby. And that just about does it here for round seven on the eight count boxing hour. David Santos, Kiki Valenzuela, we'll be back. Hi, I'm Dave Bontempo, and you're watching the eight count boxing hour on channel 27. Okay, back to boxing action here in Las Vegas, New Mexico. Dan Cisneros at ringside, you're watching the eight count boxing hour here on community cable channel 27, public access television here in Albuquerque, New Mexico. Boxing coming to you from Las Vegas, New Mexico. We go up north. David Santos, the USBA champ, he's in a battle here. We go into the eighth round. And Kiki Valenzuela out of Los Angeles, California, bringing, uh, bringing some dangerous left hands. I'll tell you, the guy's been working with his left and good body shots on the part of Kiki Valenzuela. Keeping, giving Santos something to think about here. There's a right hand as Valenzuela stepped right into that one. Come on, Lance. Come on, Lance. Let's go. Get back on it, Dave. One more punches, baby. Now, come on, let's put it away. Don't wait on it. Stick the jab on it. We're in round eight. This bout scheduled for ten. Non-title action here. David Santos, USBA champion in action. David Santos, who's uh, hot on the trail of the world champions, looking for that title shot. Can't afford to stumble here. He's got to pull this one out. There's a big left hand by Valenzuela. The man is dangerous. He's been coming up with that left hand all night out of nowhere, but he's throwing one shot. He's not following it up. There's a right hand by Santos now. David Santos with the quick hands and busy, throwing in combinations. Valenzuela more of the one punch counter puncher and David Santos trying to stay busy here, although at times he's kind of lapsed into a, a little bit of a lackadaisical performance here, but then he opens up with some good combinations. Again, Santos trying to stick the jab out. There we go now. Steps in with the jab. David Santos. And Valenzuela is dangerous with the counter shot. Got to watch it. David Santos here watching very closely. Look at the eyes of Santos. Focused right on the chest. Again, so there's a good left hand now off the body shot. Comes back with a left hand, and that's what Santos needs to do. Stay busy. Keeps his hands moving, and that's how he can score best. David Santos quicker than his, op his opponent, Kiki Valenzuela. But Valenzuela, a pretty strong opponent here. Again, Santos working behind the jab. Shoots the jabs, comes back with the left to the body. Again, Valenzuela sometimes just uh, not throwing enough, letting David Santos dictate the pace of this bout. And uh, that's fine with David Santos. He'll take it. Again, Valenzuela trying to step into the body of Santos. Dan Cisneros at ringside. You're watching the eight count boxing hour here with the live call from Las Vegas, New Mexico. And now David Santos starts to connect. And oh, a little showboating now on the part of Valenzuela. Valenzuela doing that little. Uh, Boogie in the middle of the ring here, and David Santos just says, fine, he'll continue to, to peck away. So that ends round eight here. We're scheduled for 10 on the eight count boxing hour. David Santos and Kiki Valenzuela coming to you from Robertson High School here in Las Vegas, New Mexico. Two more rounds to go now. David Santos uh, just trying to stay busy and win the rounds here. Valenzuela continues to come up with the one one punch mostly left hands stepping in with that sweeping left hook but just not staying busy enough really to steal the rounds from David Santos and Valenzuela is, is, is only dangerous but not really effective as he just doesn't let his hands go enough David Santos out working him but boy Valenzuela is dangerous and he has had his moments here
So we're just about ready to, to go here with round nine, the bell for round nine. The last two rounds of this one, and uh, Kiki Valenzuela, as advertised, a very tough opponent here. Lenny Fresquez Productions putting on this show here in Las Vegas, New Mexico at Robertson High School. Santos now goes to the body right about at the, at the waistline there. Valenzuela just posing in the middle of the ring here. And Santos uh, needs to take advantage of that. He's got the quick hands. You got the range now, baby. Let it go. Again, Santos uh, not able to connect there on the jabs. Valenzuela, just a slight bit of head movement. Valenzuela with his hands high right in front of his face here, close together. Skip in jab now. Come on. And now it's David Santos around the outside of the ring and uh, Valenzuela trying to cut him off. On, now you see Santos up on his toes for a second there. Valenzuela goes to the body now. Here he goes. He go, continues to attack. David Santos stepping back in a defensive mode here. Again, Valenzuela goes with the left hand. And now a warning to David Santos for the low blow. A warning to David Santos for a low shot there by referee Al Martinez. And uh, Kiki Valenzuela uh, finally showing a little bit of combination punching here. He hasn't done much of that tonight. Again, Santos now just uh, staying away, avoiding the jab of Kiki Valenzuela. Santos needs to finish with the blaze here and make sure that he can get the victory tonight. He cannot afford to stumble here as he's in search of a world title shot. He's up in the, in the world rankings and he holds the USBA and the IBA America's title. A lot at stake here for David Santos out of St. Pete, Florida. Uh, currently training and fighting out of Albuquerque, New Mexico. Now you see Santos with the fast hands. Not a whole lot behind those shots. And Valenzuela shaking his head no. And now Valenzuela showboating in the middle of the ring here. And now Dave Santos trying to, trying to figure out this opponent, Kiki Valenzuela. He's right there in front of him, right there for him. Now you see Santos with some shots to the head. The pity pat shots, jabs, nothing big. Santos not committing to the big bombs here. Again, you see Santos now. He works with a jab, trying to open the man up with a jab. Valenzuela comes back with the power punches. And there you see the combination now. Santos on the ropes here. He needs to get out of there. David Santos steps back with his hands down. Dangerous. He steps in now on Valenzuela, trying to get something back. But a good round for Kiki Valenzuela there as he goes to a body attack and finally shows some combination punching and David Santos not answering back. Last round coming up here. So Kiki Valenzuela showing signs of life here in the ninth round. You're watching professional boxing here on the eight count boxing hour. Enrique Kiki Valenzuela out of Los Angeles, California bringing the opposition here to USBA featherweight champion David Santos and uh, Kiki Valenzuela giving the people their money's worth here. It's been a, it's been a good fight. It's been a decent, uh, good boxing match. Neither man really dominating this one. David Santos with the, the busier hands at times and Kiki Valenzuela with the body shots, big one, one punch uh, attempts for the knockout and Valenzuela uh, Bends down and does a little, I don't know what he's doing over there in his corner, but we step out to round 10 now, the final round of this one. The crowd now looking, getting uh, fired up for this final round. Now Santos sticks him with a jab. Both men now in the center of the ring. Again, David Santos moving and sticking, sticking and moving with that jab. Again, there's a little bit of combination punching by Santos. Just hasn't been all that busy tonight. And Valenzuela, kind of a deceiving fighter. He looks like he's right there in front of you, but at times David Santos having trouble finding the mark on this opponent, Kiki Valenzuela. Again, you see Santos now working behind the jab, moving to his left. 
Valenzuela thought about it. He was wide open there for a counter shot. Santos not taking advantage of it. Come on, David, come on. Oh, Santos tried to unload the right hand there. Kiki Valenzuela now with a little bit of side-to-side -side movement. Haven't seen much of that tonight. And now he comes back with the left hand to the body, but Santos continuing to stick the jab to the, to the face of Kiki Valenzuela. Ten punches in a row, David. Come on. The only knockdown in this fight scored in the second round by Diamond David Santos. Right at the right at the bell, right at the end of that round. Other than that, uh, that was the only knockdown to, to this point. Santos did go down, but that was from a slip as he was trying to avoid a body shot from Valenzuela. Bring that hook to the body first. To the body with that hook, baby. Oh, and there's a body shot by Valenzuela. Kiki Valenzuela with the the good, powerful body shots. Valenzuela trying to out jab his opponent, David Santos, trying to out jab the jabber here, Kiki Valenzuela out of Los Angeles, California. There's a good fast combination by Santos and Valenzuela answers with a little wiggle of the hips. But you know when he wiggles his hips, he's answering to something as Santos scored with that quick handed combination. Again, Valenzuela a little bit elusive. Uh, deceiving is more the word. Both men have kind of taken turns here too uh, as with the aggression. Valenzuela again sticks out a slow jab there. Santos tries to answer back. Again, David shooting the jab out. Ten seconds to go in this one. There will be no knockout. Santos now throws some shots to the head. Valenzuela sticks his head in there. Tries to come back with a with a jab and answer eats a right hand from David Santos at the bell. A good good fight. So we go ten rounds. It goes the full ten. David Santos and Kiki Valenzuela here on the eight count boxing hour. And we'll get the decision in just a bit here. His trainer told me. We got uh, promoter Lenny Fresquez here at ringside. And Lenny, uh, what do you think about the performance of David uh, Santos tonight? Well, he, he moved around a lot. He fractured his hand in the six. Let's take it for some x-rays and see what was wrong with it. But, uh, you know, he should have taken this guy out, but because of his hand, he didn't do it. Okay, it's promoter Lenny Fresquez. Thanks for joining us tonight, Len, here on the 8-Count Boxing Hour. And we await the decision of the judges here. Well, unofficially, I have it scored for David Santos here. But, of course, that's highly unofficial, and the real judges will give you the score in just a bit here. The fight goes the full 10. This was a non-title fight. The USBA uh, title not on the line tonight. David Santos and Kiki Valenzuela. Yeah, we could. Yeah, we could. Okay. Yeah, come on up. Yeah, come on up now. You want to go up to the ring, Ben? Come on. We have a unanimous decision. Judge Levi Martinez scored the round 99-92. Judge William Gant 99-91. And Judge Jim Ash 99-92. For your winner, United David, right here. Okay, joining us now on the eight count box now are the winner of tonight's main event, Diamond David Santos. And first of all, David, let's talk about the hand. What happened? When did it happen? Oh, and what happened? Uh, it might have been the first knockdown. And then, you know, I was trying to go to the body. He had his trunks a little high. The referee kept warning me for low blows, but I don't think they were low. They were just his trunks were a little high. So it kind of took every, it took the body shot away from me. And the Mexicans can take a guard head shot. 
So I just figure if I just keep the jab in his face, I, I feel good. I feel good. I, I felt real good in this fight. I wish my trainer said I was dropping my hands a little more than we wanted to. Mm -hmm. So just every fight's a learning, you know, a learning experience for us, right. and just ready to get back on the next one. Hopefully, get these hands right for us. Okay. Now tell us about that second round. I think it was uh, uh, looked like Valenzuela was bringing you some trouble, and then uh, you caught him with the, the yeah. knockdown. Tell us about first about what he was doing that was good in that round. Yeah. I was letting him. I was trying to let him to throw the punches. I wanted him to throw punches. It seemed like when he was throwing the punches, I was uh, hitting him cleaner because mm -hmm. he was getting closer to me. So I was, I mean, it wasn't that I, he was actually hitting me with punches. I was letting him hit me right. so I can open up punches. Like when the body shot hurt him, it was because I let him throw a six punch combination. What I did, it opened him real wide and I came right up the middle. So it wasn't, I, I wasn't never hurt in a fight. And, you know, he didn't really, I don't think he really gave me what I wanted. I wanted somebody, you know, if I wish he would have brought to me more because then I think I would be able to hit him a little bit more cleaner. He just, he knew how to, with a lot of fights, he knew how to just. Stay just far enough right. not to get hit with the hard right. punch and just but get hit with them. Right. Okay, now, uh, well, let's talk about your future now. You win again uh, pretty handily, even with one hand. Uh, actually, a pretty good performance considering uh, the trouble you had there with the hand. Well, I felt, I felt good in the fight. I mean, my conditioning was great. Uh, of course, we would have liked to throw in some more punches, but it's easier to say it when you're outside looking and not right. inside, you know, doing it. I mean, I wanted to do it. I was getting mad at myself because I wanted to do it. I wanted to stop him. But he, he just knew how to keep, just stay just far enough not to get hit with clean punches. And uh, I just want to get my hands straight and hopefully get back here in September if my hands ain't broke or anything, you know? Yeah, yeah. Okay, now, uh, uh, you have, what are you ranked currently in the world as far as with the WBC, is it? And with the WBO, I'm number seven. Um, number, the IBF, I'm 13. I'm moving up. I mean, you know, in this game, I feel that I should be in the top ten by all of them. Mm -hmm. I mean, sure, I have one loss, but that's, you know, if I wouldn't have broke my ankle in the first round in that fight, I think I would have won that fight. But hey, it was a learning experience. We're ready. I mean, we're ready to take on all comers as long as they bring the money with them. You know, just like that movie says, show me the money, we'll fight anybody. <laughs> okay. You still got your sights set on Wilfredo Vasquez and Prince Nassim, or well, what's the deal here? We want either one of them. Okay. But preferably, we'd like to have Wilfredo first, but it looks like the Prince is probably more, you know, reasonable for us. And we just want to get him here in the United States and fight him here in front of the American people. I think I got the hand speed and power, and I think I'm the type of fighter you would underestimate. I'll be ready for him. Okay, so uh, that's uh, Diamond David Santos tonight with a unanimous decision victory, uh, uh, overcoming the, the injured hand and, uh, both of them. Uh, well, both hands. Look at these hands here. And let's talk to his trainer real quick here and uh, tell us about uh, what's going to happen with the hands and how you're going to take care of that. Okay, uh, we, we flew to New York, went to the best doctor, had surgery done. Every time he gets in a tough fight and he lands that right hand because he's got tremendous power, it breaks his hand. Uh, I'm really concerned, real concerned because yeah, yeah, I don't know what we're going to do with him. I mean, if he wouldn't have hurt his right hand in the third round, I believe he'd have knocked this kid out, but you cannot knock a guy out with one hand. Yeah, so you're just uh, not going to do it. You might beat him, but you're not going to knock him out, and that's going to be a big problem in the future for us. So then you go to plan B and strictly boxing, jab and move? No, well, you don't win titles strictly boxing. I mean, you have to have that. His hand's either got to get right or... I don't know. We'll go back to surgery, I guess. Okay. But anyway, he pulls out the win, and he, he uh, keeps his rankings, and uh, yeah. you're pretty pleased with that? Yeah. Well, I, I'm not pleased with the performance at all tonight. Okay. But what would you give it a grade, grade-wise? A, B, C, D, E, F, or no, no E, but... I, I, I would score maybe a 7, but the problem is as it, it was going to take him three rounds to get the feel in, and as soon as he told me in the third round he hurt his hand, I knew. Because then, it, I don't know if you noticed when I told you, he was doing right. that triple jab and hooking, right. double hooking. And it, the right hand was there to, to hit him with. And uh, I, I'm concerned. I don't know. You know I mean, it's a, it's a very big problem. Okay. So we'll see, we'll see about the future of David Santos. But uh, a little bit of concern from his corner. But anyway, thanks for joining us tonight here on the 8-Count Boxing Hour. And keep watching. Thanks so much. Thank you. Thanks. Of boxing.